Hello and welcome back to the Wolf Fortress. And what we're seeing right now is, well, sort of the, the hospital area, which has been expanded a little bit to accommodate, well, a water reservoir. Which hopefully will mean that we have more of a controlled and uh, infinite water source by siphoning water from the river and storing it so as I said siphoning the water through the canal here which we are digging out and ramping it down to the correct level which is here where it flows and falls down into this reservoir where we have a well which can then well bucket up some water <laughs> and there is some some more things to this and one thing for example is it's going to be a lever here and the reason for that lever is because if we scroll up to here and let this get built and in the, in the previous episode we also had one of our dwarves dwarves get possessed they uh, got taken in a strange mood which we still don't know what is going to come out of it So, yep, that holds because the water is blocking so that uh, what this basically what this uh, water drop mar uh, like icon over that tile is saying here is that if if we remove this it will um, water will flow from there that's basically what that is and another thing that i want to do is put up some vertical bars so basically a wall and i'm going to put it there let's use copper not for any other reason than then that we have a lot of it Hunter Soskul Soskul Normalikud Hunter has created Alal Biban Lor Es Home an apricot wood bracelet. Uh, she offers it the sunny keys. Okay, so if we go into open the objects menu, we can see artifacts. So I think... Suslam Star, the Petal of Busting, is something we have seen, but we don't have. This is something we have have and we have uh, created even. Right. Our first artifact. That is really nice. Um... So, the reason why I have this, like that, uh, vertical bar there, is because uh, bars allow water to flow through them, but creatures, like fishing creatures, can't flow, can't pass through, 
uh, and dwarves can't either. So they shouldn't be down here anyway. So, yeah. but you know, and let's see where is this? Uh, yeah, in this, and we will have a floodgate behind that which we can't because wait what did it say right i need to make it at a workshop first um i said in the carpenters don't I think I want to make... Yeah, I want to make it out of rock. And... Uh, for this one specifically, it doesn't matter what the material is. But if you would use a, a floodgate for... Um, for, um, for magma, you would need to make sure that the material you used was magma safe so then that's important if you if you were going to use a floodgate for that and uh, for magma it would be very important to make sure that the material you used was magma safe in this case we're <laughs> going to stop water so it it's not really that important if it's magma safe or not. And there we go. That will be installed. You should probably move away from there. There we go. And, and that. is now set up and if we then go down to this link link to granite floodgate and the reason why i'm doing this is because uh, i might want to stop water from flowing so it doesn't build too much uh, it shouldn't be necessary to be able to like it should be necessary for this to have to be controlled but just safety like you never know you might uh, find that oh no i have to be able to stop this and then you can pull that lever and, and everything's fine So that is now done. If we then pull and as we can see it is now pulled up. So this will allow that to flow through. So if we pull it again that should stop it. Right. Now, these shouldn't be in there. Um, there is nothing in there. But what I need to do is I need to go through all of these. Uh, yeah, I need to go in and I need to make sure that every single one of these are... Uh, forbidden, just in case. And... Hmm. 
like that. And now I would like to have these You would be, it would be nice if you moved away from there. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, it would be nice. Uh, let's see if we can designate. Some of this, it might force force this to find stuff to do. Mm. Here we go. Um, one thing now then is that we should do that. Now you have to do the dig channel because you have to do it from uh, from here to do to do the one below. And as we can see, it is up to here, but this is blocking it. So we need to go down. And we need to pull. Where are you going? Why are you going that way? Is it because it's technically speaking a quicker way? Okay, lock the door. <laughs> lock the door. Ugh. And yeah, the water is flowing. It's flowing, it's flowing, and it, it will go down the stairs, but I do want these grates just in case as well, because you never know. If the pressure is high enough, it might just go past it. This seems to be working. Four, five, seven uh, is the max that it can be. Well, it's starting to fill up and be actually full. Yep, it's getting more and more full. To the point where this level is starting to fill a bit. Yep, this level, elevation 26 is completely full. This one is filling. And this is sort of where I want to see does it continue or does it stop when it's when, when this level is full will it stop or will it continue because if it continues i have to go in here very quickly and turn the lever it 
should stop. It should stop uh, and like equalize at. At seven. Even if this room completely fills, it should. It shouldn't flood here. No, it, it works. It 100% works. Now this this room here is completely full, so this door cannot be allowed to be opened unless everything here is drained. Um, but yeah, it, it, it works. And, and technically speaking, what I could do now is I could actually um, set the floodgate to closed. But I don't think I need to. I think it's okay to leave it as is, like leave it open. And yeah, so that pretty much fixes the water. I have unlimited water close by to the hospital and like any other crafting place that may or may not need it. And on the, like, off chance, the, like, the, the most rarest of occasions that the booze, God forbid the booze, run out. But if the booze does run out, I actually do have water to drink. Which they won't like, but <laughs> it's better than uh, becoming dehydrated. So... Yes. So what I need to do now then basically is take a look here. There's no more demands over here. So it's more just scroll way, way down. And this can be locked. I don't actually need to access this well anymore. So what I can do is I can I can just continue going down let's turn off that and uh, yeah the, the reason why I want um, like that I want to bring stuff up to where I live and where I craft and stuff is because going down here on level elevation like minus 90 it's so far down it is so far down that it takes forever for anything to arrive whether it is materials or people hmm. So, yeah, it's, um, I hope I can find another, I hope I can find some magma. Finding magma, I think, is going to be important. At 
least now I have enough people to be able to do this sort of quickish. Because before it was rather sluggish. don't think I have missed it because they are usually a fair distance between each other so they don't collide with each other so that's not not so you so you don't find in the situation where like cavern one and two connects and like like where where the ceiling of cavern uh, two is nudging the floor of cavern one. So I think they are fairly distanced out so they don't like touch each other in that manner. But it does mean when you have sort of the the terrain. I think I, I've I got a bad terrain. Like Because I think a good like fifty elevations was just a mountain. Like the the uh, surface level mountain which Yeah meant that everything else was even further down. Time has passed. How is this? This works perfectly. It works just as intended. Good. <laughs> good. That that is actually really good. It means that. Um, yeah, it means that everything works as uh, as it should. So what I could do. is that in autumn or fall depending on what you want to call it uh, I could pull the lever or lever and uh, bring down the floodgate to stop the flow and once winter comes it It is just as it is, and even, I think I, this is enough water that I don't think I need to do anything. Like, I don't think I need to keep it open. Yeah, you know what? Uh, let's pull the lever now, and, and we can open the floodgate when we need more water. And make sure we time that so it it doesn't become the situation where oh yeah we need more water but it's in the middle of the winter so the river is frozen solid <laughs> um A 
human caravan from Quab Pesor has arrived. Okay. Good to know. Royal treasurer. Okay. Um, let's look at the requirements for this. Less than five? Do I actually have less than five? That might be the case. But... Uh, no, that is absolutely not the case. I have a lot of mechanisms. I don't need any more. Why is this... amount of shirt mechanisms available is less than five. Okay, I, I see. Uh, yeah, I understand what... Uh... What the issue is. I don't have five shirt mechanisms. But I'm making... Mechanisms. But they are not shirt... Out of shirt. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That, that, um, change that there we go make shirt mechanisms there we go need to click on the on this icon instead of just this because this is just the conditions okay that Mystery is now solved. Uh, the issue is that now I have a a lot, a lot of mechanisms. Uh, I want. I think the granite one is actually. And I think Gabru and Quartzite is. Magma proof. Let's go into labor, stone use. Uh, shirt, yes. Cinnabar is not, okay. Um, Gabbro, yes. Granite, no. Okay. Good to know. Shirt is, granite isn't, Gabbro is, uh, quartzite is, but the cinnabar is not. Okay. That is good enough for now. Okay, okay. Um, is there anything in here? Not really. 
Okay, let's just leave it as is. And that is pretty much it for this episode, or should be. I... Let's see, where am I in terms of depth here? Minus 120. Um, minus 129 is, from what I can see, the bottom of the world. can't scroll any any further down so probably what I need to do then is I need to go up a bit like minus a hundred um, and and actually just start spreading out and see if I can find anything and like just do dig orders straight out like this and see if I, I find anything uh, that may or may not indicate that yeah we have magma or some hotness around here so yeah I think we are very very close to the end of this series some migrants have arrived thank you Ooh, ho, ho, ho. that is probably magma like law law some uh, hotness around under uh, the reason why I couldn't go down even more is probably because semi-molten rock, yeah. So, I think what I need to do is I need to go up to, say, here, and just start doing something like this. And once we have found, like, magma, we need to do some jiggery pokery to bring it up to here somewhere. Which I'm thinking of having sort of like on elevation 15. Or something like that, or around zero, maybe. But somewhere between like zero and 15. Yeah. Uh, and uh, build that out maybe maybe have it at elevation 10 build that out like this build out the room and build a room uh, somehow somewhere around here and um that is going to accommodate or all or, or all i can speak all our uh, magma workstations so we go through workshops uh, the magma forge and on the furnaces magma glass furnace the magma kiln and the magma smelter so those four and I'm pretty much, as soon as I have done that, and maybe played a little bit more just when it comes to, like, uh, population and stuff and so on, I think this series is pretty much done. And I may actually be able to do uh, finish this in this recording session, which I'm not sure, but we'll see. For now, however, however... Uh, having trouble speaking, I'm not sure why. Uh, we are going to round off this episode and we will see sort of exactly how much we have left and uh, what we can find. Um, but it's not that much left until 
uh, we have sort of accomplished ev everything that I set out to do is to sort of experience as many things as I could to expose myself to find as many of the things I need to know in a little bit more of a controlled environment <laughs> and not just oh yeah you had a web beast wandering in uh, or, or some weird ass creature which just killed everyone like just everyone before you could set anything up and then it's which can happen so and since i wasn't really 100 percent comfortable with all all the things that war fortress offers i thought that yeah maybe we should ease up on some difficulties and make it a bit more of a learning experience than than a painful hard lesson but on screen you should now see youtube recommendation quick access to subscribe button and a quick access to the playlist for this series so with that thanks for watching goodbye and i hope i'll see you in the next one